Good morning everyone. Um, hello. Um, I'm sorry it's been a couple of weeks since I've done anything on YouTube, vlogged or a reset series or anything at all. Um, I've had some family stuff going on and it's meant that I've absolutely not wanted to be present really online so um, I've just had some time to just be away really. Um, I'm feeling a bit brighter so I felt like maybe this week I could try to vlog again um, but we'll see how I go. Um, so I'm sorry for the kind of absence with no explanation but sometimes life just happens and you just have to do what you feel and that's fine. Um, so yeah, <laughs> how is everyone? <laughs> Feels like ages since I've sat in front of a camera. Um, what am I doing today? Today I'm going to go to the post office which is my worst job but the bright side of that is that there is a, an Italian deli next door and I love their coffee so I'm going to treat myself to a coffee this morning. I've held off having my coffee at home because I can only have one a day because I'm such a wimp. Um, and then I'm going to go into town and meet lovely Liv for lunch and we're going to have a big catch up because I've not seen her in a little while. I've got a busy one today. Then I'm going to see my befriend a lady uh, from Age UK so there's an elderly lady that I visit once a week near me. So today's the day that I go and spend an hour or two with her. Then I've got Pilates and then I'm going swimming. So James is going to come swimming and um, he's got a bad hamstring so the, the physio said that um, he should do some swimming. So we're going to go swimming locally so that'll be fun. But yeah, all good. Got a really nice week ahead. Going to see like one of my oldest friends on Wednesday with her babies. Um, and Thursday I'm going for a spa overnight. It's been, yeah, nice week ahead. I was in Copenhagen last week as well for Fashion Week, which was so much fun. Um, nice distraction. Went with Lizzie and Brittany, um, and it's always good. I always love Copenhagen so much. It's my favourite Fashion Week. Uh, came back as bloody knackered. We did loads of good stuff, and we just crammed it all into two days. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where I've been up to now. What, have I, what else have I been doing? I think I'm, I'm in I'm home for a little while now. I've got this what, overnight uh, this week at the spa. Then actually I'm taking, oh, can I say this on here? Basically, my best friend Laura, who you'll have met, wild, black, curly hair, beautiful. Um, I've booked a surprise trip for us to go away. I won't say where we're going because she'll probably watch this and then be like, aha, I know where we're going now. But she knows we're going. So I organised it through her work and got us some holiday. She needs a break. I need a break. So we're off for a couple of nights somewhere gorgeous um just for some proper best friend time um it's really hard with me and laura we speak every day but she works like 60 hours a week for adidas she's like she works as a, like an account manager and she's like basically a big dog at adidas um and i'm here in london she's based between stockport where we're from and birmingham so we don't get that much time together because she's just up and down the m6 all the time <laughs> so i was like right we need this both need this um so that's what we're doing um that's my next trip i think and then i'm going to palma for about four nights with mum so i can't wait for that as well that's gonna be so good just some sunshine spend some time with mum it's just gonna be good but that's september so yeah i'm feet on the ground for a bit now which feels really nice um so yeah i'm gonna be around for a bit but i'll take you along today where i can um got what's going on but yeah let's see if i can get this vlog off the ground this week. <laughs> Just, I've been to the post office and I've been for a coffee which was gorgeous and I've just had about a 50 minute phone call with my friend Lauren ahead of her shoot tomorrow for Girl Vs Cancer which is so exciting, so proud of her. She works harder than anyone I've ever met and she can't switch off like me either so we're like cut from the same cloth. Dying for a wee, I should have gone for a wee before I came on. Um, I'm now, it's chucking it down but it's hot so you can understand. Oh, got some new trainers, got some these Celine trainers when I was in um, LA and they rub like mad. Oh. <laughs> I've met Liv and we've just ordered dessert. I've raced through all the food. Wow. Here she is. So good. Cereal should be served with everything. It should be. They're frosties. That's warm cookies with ice cream and frosties, but I better go because she might eat it all. <laughs> Hello you lot, um, so I'm just back now, rushing like mad, um, just getting my swimming kit ready for after swimming and my little, um, you know like a wash bag, I can wash my hair and everything there then, wash bag, spare knickers, I always forget spare knickers. Yes, so I'm going to go and visit my elderly friend and then, my camera cut out then, sorry as usual, 
then I've got to go straight to Pilates and then switch to swimming. <laughs> it's all go this evening. But a really chill day, just had a gorgeous lunch with Liv. Just spent hours just chatting, just catching up. It was so nice. And then we were gonna go shopping, but I was like, mate, I've got to go. <laughs> we we're like, no. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I need to do. I can't take you to the befriender lady, but um, I can catch up with you in a bit. Probably can't take you swimming either, but we can try. <laughs> Kind of vlog again and um, just come back from Pilates it was really hard and the teacher was showing no mercy whatsoever there was a lady in the class who was really performing as in like making lots of noise and complaining all, all the way through the class it wasn't me <laughs> look who's back hiya we're back vlogging <laughs> nothing like a camera to show you what your face were doing <laughs> <laughs> we're um, we're just looking at the leisure centre now to make sure it's actually open before we go swimming. Um, it looks like it is, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, until ten. Let's go. What are we gonna have for tea? I don't know. I don't know. Our food truck doesn't come till tomorrow morning, does it? I don't know. Um, but we need healthy stuff. Me and James have been eating a few takeaways recently, which isn't really like us. Uh, I'm not meant to tell people that. Sorry. Um, but. So we need to stop somewhere, maybe just get like a chicken salad, but although I had chicken salad for lunch, so I don't yeah. really want that Not again. roast chicken though, Lindsay. No, grill. Roast chicken. That's right, I love roast chicken so much. You say it's bad, don't you? Yeah. Is it though? Yeah. I'd like you all to tell me in the comments whether you think roast chicken's bad for you or not, because I think it's my favourite food, like that and potatoes. <laughs> no, not very great for you, eh? Swimmers! So we learnt a couple of things at swimming tonight. <laughs> One. James can't swim. James can't swim. No, no, that's not true. James is not a strong swimmer. That's true. He's not a strong swimmer and he's Beth, does anyone want to give me a lesson? I'm more than willing to All right, Beg! <laughs> so he does need some lessons. <laughs> I, I tried to give him some Darling, lessons. Oh my god, we got really in a really tight spot. Oh my god, I've got loads of spots. Um, do you want me to get out of the car and direct you? Yeah, just to tell me, show, tell me how much I've got for the home. Not a skilled parker either, are you? Yeah. Not. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, back. <laughs> Jesus. Back, back. Back, babe. Wait, go and have a look. Yeah, back. I'm here, I'm stood, I can see. Right, start. Yeah, you pat oh, you've got loads of room at the front there to well, we're going, well, You've got back. quite a bit, you can just ease it, just a little bit. Yep. Alright, we're on. Okay, yeah, so his breaststroke technique was all over the shop. There was not really any frog's legs going. It just looked like <laughs> more like a mermaid or a dolphin. <laughs> Which are both beautiful. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Um it's Tuesday today and I'm just nearly ready now to leave um, to get all the way to East London there's not many people I'd go to East London for um, for Lauren's shoot which is today oh I'm so tired and there were a bunch of youths outside in two gardens down that were awake all night and they're still out there now it's 8 o'clock in the morning no it's not it's 9 o'clock in the morning I mean what are you doing with your life it's a Monday night um, yes I was, I was young once <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for the shoot today. Uh, Lauren's got so much happening today. There's like all the food and drinks and everything and uh, coffee and stuff. So I'm like holding off from my morning coffee even though I'm desperate. Because she was like, don't drink it, Linda. You won't be able to drink a nice one when you get here. Because I can only have one coffee a day. So yeah, I'm all ready now and I'm just waiting for my food shop. But you know, sod's law, it'll be late and then I'll be late and that's not good. So I'm gonna maybe ring Sainsbury's and be like, where are you? But I'll take you along today because it's going to be so much fun. So I've just arrived to Lauren's shoot for the Girl vs Cancer shoot. The campaign which goes live in October. Everyone's nearly here. There's food, drink, everything. Hair going on at the back. Um, where's Lauren? Let's find her. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Out my jeans. How have you done that? Bending over, babe. <laughs> this is what's going to be on the back of the new t shirts, just of some of them. So cool. Okay, we've had the glamour. Me and Lizzie had our hair done, which 
we shouldn't have done because we look like we're going to prom, but it's all fine. Oh, she still looks like she's at prom. And I don't know if I showed you the finished lips, but I don't know what they curled this with because this is not dropping anywhere. And anyway, <laughs> bangers and book bags. So these are the new jumpers from Lauren's new campaign, which launches in October. I'm wearing such a fun. Oh yeah, mine says let loose. Let loose. It says it on the back. Yeah. And I think mine says uh, boob homies or booby. Oh, wait. Boob homies. Boob homies. Boob homies. Boob homies. Boob homies. Please call this one. Boob homies. Boob homies. Um, I'm back now from the shoe um, and I got a last minute chiropractor appointment on the way home which is why I look like this now. I left my, half my face on the chiropractic couch. Um, so I'm just home. I'm supposed to go to Pilates tonight but we went, I went to Pilates yesterday and then went swimming. I'm aching like mad so I think I'll just chill out actually. James will be home in an hour-ish so I think I might just take my makeup off, have a shower. Just, oh. Honestly, my skin is awful at the moment. Take makeup off, have a shower, and have a cup of tea, and just chill out and be quiet for a bit for a change. I'm so tired. My eyes have like half closed after that chiropractor. Um, feel my miles better after it. My neck was really bad, but it's all right now. Um, sorry, I think it's rude. Just yawning down the camera. Um, yeah, I hope you're all alright and you're having a nice day as well. Um, the shoot was absolutely amazing for Lauren. Like the turnout was insane. Like the production of it all was just above and beyond last year and like we thought last year was good. Product's amazing, can't wait to show you. I mean I showed you a bit of it but they all drop on the 1st of October so I'll make sure I give everybody the links. You can still buy the other season stuff that she's got now online so I'll put a link for that now because it's still dead cool but this is just a second wave um, to raise more money for charity, more awareness for breast cancer and it's just good inside and out and it was so good to see everyone today. Um, yeah, we've had a really, really good day and I stayed about three hours longer than I needed to because it was that good. So yeah, I'm just chilling now. I feel like we've accomplished a lot today. Good morning, everyone. So I'm off to Oxford today to see Lucy, my friend, one of my oldest friends with her kids. Um, so I'm just ready now. I'm in a rush as usual. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I've got on because it's about 20 degrees, but it's so cloudy and rainy. Um, so I've got a, like an oversized under the stories burnout acid wash black t-shirt and um, this jigsaw leather that's like more of a shirt jacket some Levi's and my by far shoes so I thought it was just quite a nice feel nice in it and it's all my my faves and my nice favorite colors <laughs> why did I say that it's not my favorite colors but I like the way they look together <laughs> but I'll take you along where I can today and I hope you're all okay Um, I'm back now from Oxford from visiting my friend Lucy and the kids and it was gorgeous I went to a farm I fed some baby goats <laughs> I'm just now getting ready to go out and see my friend Bettina I wanted to quickly show you um, this top this kind of like oversized blazery shirt that arrived from a place called Studio Travel it's a Copenhagen Danish brand um, and it's beautiful quality and it's unisex so I thought it would be cool to tuck into denim I've got a quite a big one. This is a small, but it's super oversized. But I do quite like it. I'm um, just going to put... Well, I've got my Levi's on. I'm just going to put... I've got some new Fendi shoes. Where are they? You cannot see. You're not allowed to see in this water. James came in the other day when I had it open. He was like, what the? <laughs> oh, I can't even find them with one arm. Oh, BRB. Oh, 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 here they are. I got him. I got him. Okay. Okay, that's for no one to see. So these are my... Fendi shoes. One, 
too it might be too much pattern but i also think embrace the pattern to be honest come on now Oi! okay so these are them i'm obsessed with them oh look a nice chic airlock bag under the bed i literally love them so much so i bought them just four into copenhagen and i've worn them non-stop so yes they are pricey but i never really splurge on shoes so i was like oh gorgeous i love this outfit and um, i'll just show you a bit closer the pajama shop hello um pajama shop oh god did i expose myself yes yeah, so it's pretty big but i think it tucked in i think i need some higher waist denim to like really nip it in but yeah i really do like this so the place where i was gonna go called flavor bastard was literally just short and closed down but that's not helpful then i walked to two more restaurants one had a two hour waiting list and one in my shoes they're killing me because I'm not worn them enough yet and we're at this place called Incognito and I don't, I don't know I don't know if you're going to enjoy this but I don't know Asian inspired food I'm just not sure I do know that I love wine <laughs> so we're in Bettina Bettina morning guys um i'm just getting ready hence the face but i'm just trying outfits on i'm going to time spa in like Chalbury, oxford way ish i think near where wilderness festival is anyway <coughs> going overnight got some spa i've just run up the stairs got some spa treatments and just a really nice time which just feels like it's come at a good time it's absolutely throwing it down outside my face is so broken out i can't even do anything about it Okay, I'm ready. So I've got my little studio travel neckerchief on, like a Gap vintage white t-shirt, which is my favourite because it's super, super thick. And then my new blazer from And Other Stories, which I'm obsessed with. It's just this beautiful tan colour. It's got like a popper button, so it looks good done up as well. Not with this outfit, but with other outfits. Then vintage Levi's and dirty old Converse. So yeah, nice. Feel nice today. Um, did my hair. Makeup, got loads of makeup on because I don't know if you can see it. I've got loads of spots. My skin's not good. It's, I'm due on my period, so I don't know if you can see. Like all around my chin, my mouth, where else? Top of my, I always get them in my hairline really bad and they like crowd around my lips. You can see like a couple of bumps there, but I get them like on my lip line as well. I'm like, why are you there? What, what, what's the need of you to be there? It's so painful as well there. Um, so yeah, so I feel a bit caked in it, but whatever um put some setting spray on and if I'm, I'm going now i was gonna walk and get the tube and have a nice little breezy walk but it's absolutely leathering it down so i'm not walking hello guys i've just got to time now we've spent bits got, got ideas what am i trying to find here bubble hair bubble um we've just got here it's beautiful um i'm just about to go for a facial and a body treatment which is like an hour and a hour and a half long <laughs> So pray for me. Um, I'll just show you the room. It's like a little, I've got like a little bungalow. And it's gorgeous. So little sofa area. Um, then this huge bed, which I literally can't wait to get in. I'm going to be so zen after that later. Um, bathroom, little double sink mirror thing situation. Ah, oh, nice shower. I always hope for a bath in these circumstances. It's only because I can't fit in my bloody one at home. Not to be ungrateful. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Look who's come to my bungalow. Just the same that most men have size 10 feet. Yeah, because we've got size 10 feet slippers on. But the, we were saying that there's not that much room in them for it being a size 10. There's not. So that's what, how the conversation started. And all of you at home listening now think of all the men in your life and I bet a good majority of them are size 10 feet. Yeah. We just listed Send out a group there. text. I'm going to sneeze really bad. Bless you. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice watching. Ah, no, it's on you. Work. It's on you. <laughs> um, so the plan is I don't turn around this camera. <laughs> ah, I'm oh, I had a really nice um treatment, uh, but now I look very dishevelled and all my spots are out. And I did tell the lady that you know I didn't want to have to wash my hair again. But did she listen? Did she buggery? She did not. So I'm gonna have to wash my hair again. We've just asked to get cake room service to the room because we're starving. We've been fed. 
<laughs> but you wouldn't know it. Do you know what's apt is that Beyonce flawless is playing and I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Lizzie's just reminding me, sorry, I'm gonna just hide this chinks, it's so offensive. Um, that basically, so our train got, I don't know if I've told you this, our train got cancelled on the way here, so we got dumped off at Reading, like an hour and 15 minutes outside of where we were supposed to be. So um, we were on the platform, nobody knew what was happening, there were no other trains coming to where, coming to where we, <laughs> Rihanna in the background, Oh, they might block my video if they can hear Rihanna. Might they? Might turn it off. Now Rihanna. Um, and also, so so yeah, not also. God, I can't talk. So basically, this is frustrating for everyone, isn't it? When I can't get my story out. Um, you need to tell it. Jesus. No, I know what I'm doing. Wait, now stop. So we started our journey at Paddington. Yeah, we started our journey at Paddington. I've already got to the point where we got chucked off at Reading because the trains were cancelled. Okay. Right, she wasn't listening. <laughs> so then what we had to do was ring the lady and let her know, but um, all the people on this trip were on our train, which we didn't know because we didn't know anybody. But also in our carriage was um, a 13-year-old boy who was really sweet. And he was off and he was just at the platform and we'd watched his granddad put him on the train to go back home. Or so we assumed. And we found this out as fact later on. Um, and... Um, <laughs> So I, like a moth to a flame, like a, mother, <laughs> a child in need, <laughs> it's literally right on my street. So I needed to, I was like, are you okay? I was like, you're traveling on your own, aren't you? And he was like, yeah. Um, and so we basically put him in our car all the way to Jarbury. <laughs> Not in a kidnapping way. Not in a kidnapping way, no, obviously. Really I just wanted to make sure he got him. back to his parents. Yeah, we offered, I was like, you can, you're more than welcome to come with us. Cause he was completely stranded and he was like an hour and a half away from his parents. I was like, what the hell? So, yeah, he came in with us, didn't he, bless he him? He didn't chat to us much, though. He didn't, he, he had his little we ear cool. thing. No, he didn't think we were cool. I didn't try. I like, oh, this is well cool. Like, I'm going to tell my mates about this. <coughs> but we bought him a cookie, chocolate cookie, in the and a water. water. And, and then, yeah, and then asked him about his siblings. Yeah, asked him about his little life. Just... And then we pulled up at his house, and it was <laughs> massive. <laughs> massive acres of land, like a farm, gated. We were like, okay. Bye then. His parents <laughs> definitely have afforded to put him in a taxi. Mm. <laughs> We're just looking at the stars whilst we're at time and um, Alice has this amazing app that um, shows us all what is in the sky and we can see some planets and some different stars and some different um, star signs too. So I think we just saw Aquarius, Mars, Jupiter. Um, so we're going to look for some more. Okay. Oh, wow. oh my That's God. Mars there. So, so Mars, okay, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, yes you can on my vlog here. Like the brightest oh. thing there is Mars that you can see. And you can see Hello. Um, oh, that's loud. Uh, well, I'm back in the room now. I'm sorry about my skin. I've just taken everything off, so it feels amazing. But also, it's been. Really, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's really sore from um, all the breakouts and stuff from hormone time. So I'm sorry about that. I've just got back, and they've sent us into the room a little box of Aurelia skincare um, to try tonight. And that's what I had with my facial earlier. Oh my god, I'm so close. I'm so sorry. Oh. Um, that's what I had on my face earlier for my uh, facial and it felt amazing my skin felt so good after um so let's have a look ah so we've got solar pen night oil with neroli lavender rose and mandarin so i think actually i might not put my normal stuff on tonight and just put this oil on and see if um it helps so it's got probiotic um properties in it so it's a probiotic skincare which is scientifically proven it manages the oh the level of inflammation which is exactly what this face needs. Good morning, everyone. Um, I slept like a baby. I slept so well. Um, just now, I've just thrown some clothes on quick um, to go for breakfast because it's at nine. Oh, I need to wash my hair. Um, that's at nine. And then we're not leaving till 11, so I can come back, have a shower, get properly ready for the day, do a little bit of work, and then off we go. And I've got a lunch in town, like I say, and a meeting, I think, today. Um, so, yeah. Looking forward to Friday today, so I'll take you along where I can and I'll speak to you in a bit and I hope everyone's okay. Bye. 
Good morning, Elizabeth. <laughs> How's your breakfast? <laughs> Demolished. <laughs> <coughs> Just come for breakfast in a beautiful, beautiful space. Oh, guys, all ready to check out now. Um, I'm all dressed. I've just got like a cream outfit on and this um, really beautiful jacket from Ted Baker, which is like caramel 70s vibe. And I absolutely love it. And it's pretty warm as well. So I was like, oh, yes. It's got this cool buckle um, around the neck, but it looks so good. I'm just dead impressed with it. I'm working with them on something and I was like, oh, that jacket. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm off. I'm checking out of time now. Gonna go to London, have a meeting, have a lunch, and then go swimming tonight. Morning, everyone. Um, hope you're all okay. I'm just up and ready and out to go and have breakfast with my friend Kim at this place called Scarlet Something. I'll tell you when I get there, but she said it's new and she wants to try it, so we're gonna go for that. Um, I'm just wearing Under the Story's new blazer, which is gorgeous. Um, an old like ribbed tank with no back and the reformation jeans because you can now get these from Farfetch in the UK I love the bottom fly on these and just my 80s trainers. Can you see? Yeah, so yeah, I'll take you along for today So I'm here I've, this, Look at this breakfast. I'm never gonna be able to eat that I'm, I'm so excited. Here she is. Hey love. I'm about to try these on. I really like these. Yeah, I like those a lot. Hello everyone. Hey, oh Kim had pancakes. <laughs> James is just looking at my Instagram story, what went for breakfast, she's like, bloody hell, you had a lot of food. I was like, yes we did. He was like, who had pancakes? I was like, not me, it was Kim. Um, so I'm just now, come home to get James, we're gonna go back round to Lizzie's with Catherine Haid and Baby Grey and just have a bit of lunch there, not like I can eat anything. Uh, so I've got the, got the trainers from Under the Stories, proper, proper please with them. Um, so I've just put like a nice, like a re, it's quite warm, it's warm. Yeah, so again, my memory card got full up. So yeah, it's really warm out today, but this is super cozy, so I was like, oh, just chill. Uh, so it's from Gestus and, um, I got it when we were in Copenhagen because they've just opened a store there. They let me go in and choose some stuff. And honestly, I'd buy this over and over again. Look how nice it is. I'm so pleased with it. Like the colour, like it's nice and big and slouchy, but still smart. I've uh, just got some light Levi's on, vintage ones. And my new shoes. They're not Adidas. I think I said that earlier, but they're Nike. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get around there now. It's just started raining, which is great. Um, so I'll just quickly show you full... Sorry about that. I, obviously, I tried a lot of things on before I put this on. Um, so yeah, jumper and vintage leave as usual, 501s that are just a bit cropped so the trainers look better. from Lizzie's now. I've had such a nice time just with pals with all this afternoon. I'm so tired. Um, I've just chucked my hair up, chucked a big t-shirt on. Well comfy. Um, I've just come back. So James watching footy and I always like it when he watches footy if I don't want to watch it because I can come in the bedroom and read or catch up on stuff I like to watch. And I've been watching recently This Is Us and it's on more four if you want to catch up on it but it's so good. It's a very emotional series but it's like the best thing. And the other thing that I want to tell you about is Milk and Honey. I don't know if you've ever read it or heard about it, but it's by uh, Rupi Kaur. I think it's Kaur. Rupi Kaur. I'm not sure. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not because it's me. But it's the most beautiful, positive, amazing, inspirational book of poems. And honestly, I was saying again before my battery went, um, I couldn't recommend it enough. So I'll put a link for you, like to Amazon or something. But honestly, oh, it's like a little piece of love to carry around with you it's just so good and reassuring um so yeah i'm gonna say bye to you now thank you so much for bearing with me and for being here again this week even though i've been absent for a while um i hope you've enjoyed everything and i hope everyone's really well um, and i'll try and be a little bit more present 
on YouTube now. Um, but let's see how we go and yeah, I'll hopefully catch you back here next week with something new. Bye.